The physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living is an artwork created in 1991 by Damien Hirst, an English artist and a leading member of the Young British Artists, or YBA. It consists of a tiger shark preserved in formaldehyde in a vitrine. It was originally commissioned in 1991 by Charles Saatchi, who sold it in 2004, to Stephen A. Cohen for an undisclosed amount, widely reported to have been at least $8 million. However, the title of Don Thompson's book, The $12 Million Stuffed Shark, The Curious Economics of Contemporary Art, suggests a higher figure. Owing to deterioration of the original 14-foot tiger shark, it was replaced with a new specimen in 2006. It was on loan to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City from 2007 to 2010. It is considered the iconic work of British art in the 1990s, and has become a symbol of Britart worldwide. Topic. Background and concept The work was funded by Charles Saatchi, who in 1991 had offered to pay for whatever artwork Hearst wanted to create. The shark itself cost Hearst £6,000 and the total cost of the work was £50,000. The shark was caught off Hervey Bay in Queensland, Australia, by a fisherman commissioned to do so. Hearst wanted something big enough to eat you. It was first exhibited in 1992 in the first of a series of young British artists' shows at the Saatchi Gallery, then at its premises in St John's Wood, North London. The British tabloid newspaper The Sun ran a story titled £50,000 for fish without chips. The show also included Hearst's artwork A Thousand Years. He was then nominated for the Turner Prize, but it was awarded to Grenville Davy. Saatchi sold the work in 2004 to Stephen A. Cohen for an estimated $8 million. Its technical specifications are Tiger shark, glass, steel, 5% formaldehyde solution, 213 times 518 times 213 centimeters. The New York Times in 2007 gave the following description of the artwork. Mr. Hurst often aims to fry the mind and misses more than he hits, but he does so by setting up direct, often visceral experiences, of which the shark remains the most outstanding. In keeping with the piece's title, the shark is simultaneously life and death incarnate in a way you don't quite grasp until you see it, suspended and silent, in its tank. It gives the innately demonic urge to live a demonic, death-like form. Topic. Decay and replacement Because the shark was initially preserved poorly, it began to deteriorate and the surrounding liquid grew murky. Hearst attributes some of the decay to the fact that the Saatchi Gallery had added bleach to it. In 1993 the gallery gutted the shark and stretched its skin over a fiberglass mold, and Hearst commented. It didn't look as frightening. You could tell it wasn't real. It had no weight. When Hearst learned of Saatchi's impending sale of the work to Cohen, he offered to replace the shark, an operation which Cohen then funded, calling the expense inconsequential. The formaldehyde process alone cost around $100,000. Another shark was caught off Queensland, a female aged about 25 to 30 years, equivalent to middle age, and shipped to Hearst in a two-month journey. Oliver Crimin, a scientist and fish curator at London's Natural History Museum, assisted with the preservation of the new specimen in 2006. This involved injecting formaldehyde into the body, as well as soaking it for two weeks in a bath of 7% formalin solution. The original 1991 vitrine was then used to house it. A philosophical question was acknowledged by Hearst, as to whether the replacement shark meant that the result could still be considered the same artwork. 
He observed, It's a big dilemma. Artists and conservators have different opinions about what's important, the original artwork or the original intention. I come from a conceptual art background, so I think it should be the intention. It's the same piece. But the jury will be out for a long time to come. Topic. Variants Hearst has made other works subsequently which also feature a preserved shark in formaldehyde in a vitrine. In September 2008, The Kingdom, a tiger shark, sold at Hearst Sotheby's auction, Beautiful Inside My Head Forever, for £9.6 million, more than £3 million above its estimate. Hearst has made a miniature version of the physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living for the miniature museum in the Netherlands. In this case he put a guppy in a box 10 times 3.5 times 5 centimeters filled with formaldehyde. Topic. Responses In 2003, under the title A Dead Shark Isn't Art, the Stuckism International Gallery exhibited a shark which had first been put on public display two years before Hearst's by Eddie Saunders in his Shoreditch London shop, J.D. Electrical Supplies. The Stuckists suggested that Hearst may have got the idea for his work from Saunders' shop display. In a speech at the Royal Academy in 2004, art critic Robert Hughes used the physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living as a prime example of how the international art market at the time was a cultural obscenity. Without naming the artwork or the artist, he stated that brush marks in the lace collar of a painting by Velázquez could be more radical than a shark, mercury disintegrating in its tank on the other side of the Thames. The 2009 British-Hungarian film The Nutcracker in 3D features a scene in which a pet shark is electrocuted in a water tank, which director Andrei Konchalovsky cites as a reference to Hearst's artwork. Hearst's response to those who said that anyone could have done this artwork was, But you didn't, did you? Topic. Notes and references Topic. External links Official Damien Hurst website Smart History, Hurst Shark, Interpreting Contemporary Art, Video, Beth Harris, Sal Khan and Stephen Zucker Commentators, 749